do want to ask as well, I mean, the Department of Justice was very swift in responding to school board members who felt like they were being harassed and intimidated um, a couple months back. Does the president feel that the demonstrations outside of, say, Justice Alito's home, um, are those attempts to interfere or intimidate? Well, I think I said yesterday, but I'm happy to repeat because I think it's important for everybody to hear, that the president's long-standing view has been that violence, threats, and intimidation of any kind have no place in political discourse. And we believe, of course, in peaceful protests. What I do find is interesting, um, and I think most many people have noted, is that there are voices on the right who have called out um, this uh, protests that are happening uh, while remaining <coughs> silent for years on protests that have happened outside of the homes of school board members, the Michigan Secretary of State, or including threats made to women seeking reprodu reproductive health care or even an insurrection against our capital. So I know that there's an outrage right now, I guess, about uh, protests that have been peaceful to date, and we certainly continue to encourage that outside of judges' homes, and that's the president's position. But the silence is pretty deafening about all of the other intimidation that we've seen a to a number of people. This is a pending court okay, case, though. That's where the federal law comes into place. This is a oh. pending court case. Well, but I, I think that uh, intimidation and protests and intimidation outside of the homes of school board members, the Michigan Secretary of State, uh, you know, intimidation and threats against people seeking legal reproductive health care uh, and against our capital and American democracy also warrant some outrage. And we haven't really seen that. Go ahead. Jen, you mentioned this a bit yesterday. 